building the smart wood shop day 18 so today i am working on the nose cabinet that's to, to fit in the angled nose so the sides of the cabinet uh, needed to have an angle cut in them i think it was around 48 48 and a half degrees so it'll fit up nice and tight to the wall for me to screw it against the wall here I'm using the Blum Press that drills seven holes at a time and uses an index pin. And you know, it's not a tool just to buy for general purpose. If you're building cabinets, you know, it's worth having. I think all in all, you're gonna drop about $5,000 in the tool by the time you buy everything you need. So really not recommended unless you're building, you know, lots of cabinets. Uh, there are other alternatives, maybe not as fast, but um, it is a great tool if you're into production. So this cabinet is not going to have a lot of structure freestanding. It is going to be attached to the walls of the trailer and the floor of the trailer. The shelves are being attached with pocket screws and I'm using the shelf pins as a way to adjust the shelf so I can put the pins in, push down tight with my hand against the pins and then put in the pocket screws. Here I forgot to drill the pocket holes in the bottom uh, of the shelf that goes on the floor and I didn't want to try to hold this whole contraption up to the Craig Foreman so I grabbed about the old uh, pocket hole you know jig and was able to drill them so haven't used that in years it was nice that I did have it so the shelves as you know uh, nothing is tied down or, or fastened down in my trailer everything stays in place kind of passively so i depend on a lip on all the shelves so i'm putting a three quarter inch lip on this lip is attached just to the shelf so if i have to or need to move the shelves up or down in the future i would just pull the pocket screws adjust the shelf pins where i wanted it push down tight and then screw the pocket screws three on each side back in so it's pretty easy to adjust once it's installed again it's pretty floppy in the meantime because no cross members uh, other than the shelves so you know i just want to center it up it's pretty much falls into place but you know just took a square and checked to make sure i was pretty close and then i just used a countersink drill bit and uh, i use a fuller brand i was asked about that i've been using those for about 30 years have a kit and I just buy um, new bits and new parts uh, probably replace the whole kit three or four times over the years great stuff and uh, so I just you know screw back into that three-quarter inch Moreland ply that ultralight ply really holds screws well and then I uh, just use this a level straight edge basically to push the outside out straight and put the pocket screws into the floor if you like following along with building the smart wood shop, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll know when I drop a new video. Like the video if you're so inclined and share it with others. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can click on the link in the description of the video down below for Ron's Amazon store. And if you purchase anything through the store, uh, Amazon will share a little bit with us and not charge you any extra. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.